Hey YouTube, this is Louis012 and because I'm finished uh, transforming him and posing him as such, holding the minifigure that was earlier sitting in his cockpit, I guess I can show you the details. But before I do that, I need to tell you why I named him Atham. Uh, I named him Atham from the Greek word anathema, which means doom, uh, evil, cursed offering, someone very disliked. Um, so it really describes this guy like really horrific looking, huge, bulky. He, like pro probably the definition of doom right here. And anathema uh, is a Greek word and it really fits him because he has the horns up there. He really looks like a Greek god. And in case you're thinking in a perverted way, no, I do not mean Greek god as in like Aphrodite or nymphs. No, just Greek god. So, if you did think of nymphs and stuff, you are a pervert. Anyway, so on to the details. On the chest here, I have a um, Decepticon logo that I customly uh, colored and taped on. I have it in blue instead of the classic purple because it really fits the blue a accents uh, all around his body, his arms, neck there. And you have uh, two guns stacked on his shoulder, the other three guns stacked on his uh, left shoulder. The head is on a ball joint, as you can see, like you saw before. Um, uh, really long arms, very big legs. Yeah, as you can see here, the spiked wheels are the feet for the legs and in the back here we have very long heel spurs to hold him up. Uh, I tried my best to um, uh, to hide as much stuff as I can but they turned out to the only way I could hide them was put them as kibble. He had the giant wheels hanging off of his arm. Uh, other than all the kibble hanging from him, I think I did pretty good. After all, this is the first um, Lego Transformer with power functions on YouTube that, I've, that I have seen so far. So, um, I must say, I um, this was pretty impressive. Everything is ratcheted joints, um, except for the fingers, which are ball jointed. And one thing, one joint I have to show you here is this one here. I don't know if you can really make it out. I guess I could flip it around for you to see. You see that? Those are really old bionicle joint thing. Uh, most of you out there probably don't remember what this is unless you are really, um, a really addicted Lego fan like I am. Um, that has nothing to do with the video really, but I just wanted to point that out for, f um, just for fun and randomness. And yeah, he is very heavy. I would say a good uh, three to five pounds, because of all because of all it took to build him. You see, even the ratchet joints are failing. But uh, so that's been my um, Lego Transformer Atham. I hope you like it. And stay tuned for more uh, Lego creations to come. And thank you for watching.